from Waykeeper Farm and Nerdery and today I want to talk about how much milk sheep produce on a daily basis. So if you're considering getting a dairy animal for your farm or homestead, it's really important to know how much milk you're getting into and how much work it is to get that amount of milk. So if you have a small family or maybe you're just a couple people, you might consider a smaller animal or if you have a large family and you need a lot of milk, you might consider a larger animal. So if you're thinking about getting dairy sheep, there are a couple of things that goes into how much milk a sheep will produce. So the first thing is how long it has been since the sheep has given birth. So sheep reach their peak at about six weeks and after that their production slowly tapers off. So you can milk a sheep for about nine months before they really start to decrease too much that it's not worth producing and milking them every day. Now personally we only got to about six months milking our dairy sheep before we stopped and that was for personal reasons. We wanted to have a little bit less work here at the farm and have balance with our business and our family. The great thing about dairy sheep is that you don't have to milk them the whole year round. And in fact, giving them a break is a great way to go to help restore their nutrition before they give birth again. Now, the other thing that impacts how much milk a sheep will produce in a day is the type of breed of sheep that you have. So we personally have a mix of East Frisian and British milking sheep. And these are great breeds for producing a lot of milk. They have been bred over several generations to have great udders and great milk production. That's why we chose that breed. Now there are tons of other types of breeds that you might consider depending on where you live, what's available, and what other benefits and uses you have for your sheep. Another important thing that affects how much milk sheep produce is whether or not the lambs are still drinking from them. So it's an important thing for lambs to drink milk in the early days of their life and the first few weeks for example or months depending on what your strategies are for your lambs. And if you are trying to maximize milk production there are a couple of different strategies that you can apply in this case. So for example, what we've done is we actually separate lambs from the moms for about 12 hours a day. So we've experimented with separating them at night and during the day. And what we found is that we prefer to have the moms and lambs together during the night so they can reunite and they're not going to baa as much. And then during the day, lambs spend more time with their dad and the weathers that we have on the farm, as well as giving them a chance to eat more grass and eat other things so they're not hungry. The other thing that really impacts how much milk a sheep will produce is what they're eating. So if you're able to feed them amazing forage and grass that's growing fast and full of nutrition, then you're going to get a lot more milk. As things get too hot in the summer months for where we are, then production drops a little bit too because they're not able to get as much fresh, fast growing grass. And if you're not able to feed them the best grass, then you'll probably want to supplement with grains. Now what we do is feed grains twice a day. We do that while we're milking and so that way the sheep get extra nutrition, they're not hungry, and they're able to produce better milk. Now the other half of nutrition is water. So sheep are obviously producing milk and that is 70% water. So the more water they're able to drink, the better. And that means always refilling their water, making sure that it's not too hot, which is sometimes the case in our climate here it gets way too hot in the summer and so we have to make sure they always have access to water and shade and that they're not overheating. and one sheep produce in a day. In the spring at peak production, when we had three sheep in milk, we were getting about two quarts or two liters of milk per day. And for us, that was a lot of milk to keep up with. We were making cheese, we were making yogurt, we were drinking tons of milk, it was amazing. And now at this point, we're in August and we're getting just about one liter or one pint of milk per day for two sheep. So we actually took one of our sheep out of production as well. And right now we're in the month of August and it's been about five months since since our sheep gave birth. We're currently in the hottest season. It's humid, it's hot. We're getting between one to two pints or 500 to 750 milliliters of milk per day right now with just two milking sheep. And so that is plenty of milk for us. We're still able to make yogurt and drink plenty of milk. Our kids love best milk, especially because at the end of the season like this, the milk starts to get creamier and richer. So it is an incredible thing to be able to have our own dairy sheep. And I highly, highly encourage it. If you're considering getting a dairy animal to take a look at dairy sheep, do a little bit of research on the types of breeds there are and whether or not your environment and your setup on your farm and homestead is going to fit for 
dairy sheep. Now there's another bonus tip. If you are only milking once a day, you're not going to get as much milk. So we still milk twice a day, even if the lambs are separated or together. And right now we actually have all of the females together and all the males together. And that means that our dairy sheep are producing milk for us as well as for lambs. And we're still getting plenty. Now the good news is that there are ways to increase milk supply in your sheep. Now the first tip is so important. You do not want to decrease the amount of milk that your sheep are giving you. So here's how you do that. You want to be milking twice a day and you want to make sure they get all of the milk out. So that means if you are hand milking, making sure that you get every last drop. And if you're using a machine, making sure that you're also massaging the udder. So this simulates having a lamb drinking from your sheep. So that means they will let down all their milk and don't worry, they'll keep producing more and more milk. Now this is a whole supply and demand thing. So if your sheep feel like they are producing milk that they're not using, for example, if you are not getting all the milk out, then they're going to start reducing the amount of milk that they produce. So you want to make sure that you're milking completely and not letting that milk go to waste. Another way to increase milk supply is to supplement. So you can do that using seaweed or salts and minerals or other add-ons that you can purchase at your feed store. Do a little bit of research to see what works for your sheep in your area. Now there's another thing that really impacts how much milk a sheep will produce and that is also how many lambs they've had and how old they are. So if it is their first time having lambs, they might be producing a little bit less milk. Their first year they're not as productive as later on. And also as they age and they get closer to eight years old or so, then their milk production will also start to decrease over time. So those are some of the tips I have for you to help you increase milk production and make sure that you're getting the most milk out of all the work that you're putting into raising your incredible sheep. So go ahead and leave a comment below this video and let me know which part of the video surprised you the most. I'm Natalie Lucier from Waykeeper Farm and Nerdery where we're raising nerds as well as all kinds of food. So subscribe to the YouTube channel. We've got more great farm and sheep videos coming your way.